Hi, my name is Yang and Hume. I'm an Australian and Singaporean artist, um, and I've been living in London for the last four and a half years. Um, my work um, uses mixed media. I work um, mostly in installation, um, largely with fabric, um, um, hanging fabric pieces, and also with um, cyanotypes and um, experimental photography techniques. I'm really excited to be part of this exhibition at Number 20 Arts, Threads of Time. Um, the work that I've submitted um, into the show comes from a body of work that I began um, about five or six years ago. I was um, completing a residency in Paris and one of the things that really struck me um, about my time in Paris uh, was the flea markets. Um, it's not something that we have in Australia, um, so to me, I guess walking into these markets that um, were full of piles of fabric, um, discarded domestic ephemera, um, family photographs um, was a really interesting, I guess, and thought-provoking experience. Um, at the same time, I was visiting lots of galleries and museums in Paris, and everything was documented and archived in a very specific and organised way. There were lots of um, men um, in the museums, and then I would come to the flea markets, and it was a really different way of recording history. Um, there wasn't really a system of organising it. Um, and a lot of the work um, was anonymous um, and a lot of the lace work and the fabric that I was finding at the flea markets was obviously um, domestic women's labour. And so that struck me as really interesting. Um, and this body of work that's come out of that residency um, that I'm now showing here um, takes inspiration from the flea markets. So the work behind me, um, Mausoleum, um, uses um, photographs uh, that I found from the flea markets. They have been printed onto translucent fabric and cut up and fragmented and layered um, into this large um, hanging piece. What I wanted to do, I guess, with that layering and fragmentation was to, I guess, highlight the nature of memory um, and touch on the way that domestic histories and the work of women is sort of lost, um, lost to us and lost to time and history. And so we just have these fragmented pieces that come down through time, um, and I wanted to make a work that really takes up space in the gallery um, and to give a voice to these anonymous women. These prints uh, called fossils are a series of cyanotypes or photograms that I made um, using found lace and fabric from the Parisian flea markets. Um, I would collect um, pieces of lace and fabric that sort of appealed to me, um, and I lay them out on light sensitive paper and expose them to sunlight. Um, and that's how we get these um, sort of imprints of the lace on paper. Um, what I really like about it is that when I make these prints, um, some elements of the lace details are lost. Um, and I feel like that really reflects the way in which um, history, and particularly the history of women and women's labour, um, gets faded and lost to us. Um, so these fabric works are based on the original um, photographs and cyanotypes I made. I ended up um, digitally scanning in um, cyanotypes and then printing them out onto translucent fabric. Um, both the works are layers um, of fabric that have been um, sort of put together. Um, I guess what I was trying to do with these pieces is um, fragment them further, so um, originally the cyanotype um, loses some information about the lace and then it gets printed onto fabric which again uh, distorts the image and then um, layering the three or four different uh, pieces of fabric um, distorts and disguises and hides the original image even further. Um, and again, just trying to highlight the fact um, that this labour and this history um, is lost to us.